Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. Today I am back with a huge Sephora haul. Your girl did some damage recently. I bought a little bit of everything. I got some skincare, some hair care, some makeup, and of course fragrances. So I'm gonna share with you guys all of the items that I picked up at Sephora. Before we get into this, if you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love that, okay? On this channel we talk beauty, fashion, fragrance for the most part because we love to smell good so go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and also turn your post notifications on so you're notified every single time i upload a new video oh this is gonna be a long one it's gonna be a long one so get yourself something to drink get cozy and let's get into it. So before we talk about these goodies, I wanna give a huge shout out to Sephora for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited to be working with them because I mean, who doesn't love shopping at Sephora? They have all the brands that I absolutely love. They have every single category, beauty fragrance, skincare, hair care, candles. I mean, you name it, they pretty much have it offered on their website or in stores. So excited to be sharing what I picked up recently. Everything that I got, you can get at Sephora in stores or online and I will link everything in my description box so definitely shop there if you're interested and if you are not part of the Beauty Insider Rewards program girl what are you waiting for please go ahead and sign up for that because there's definitely a lot of perks and if you're not aware of what that is it is a free reward programs which means you accumulate points with every purchase that you make and you can redeem your points for rewards or even on your purchases so there are three different tiers to the reward programs. There are Rouge members, which I believe you have to spend $1,000 in one calendar year. There is a VIB member, which is $350 in a calendar year. And then there is Insider, okay? Anyone that signs up becomes an Insider. And then you kind of work your way up. Like I said, I highly recommend you guys go ahead and sign up. If you already shop at Sephora, sign up for that reward program. You don't want to miss out on any sales that they can notify you via your email and you get a gift every time it's your birthday so there's definitely a lot of perks to this so sign up for that again I will link everything down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out I don't think I'm gonna go in any particular order in terms of the items that I got but just so you guys can see the gravity of this haul I mean I got two bags a huge one and then this one over here so your girl did some damage recently and I actually have a second Sephora haul coming very soon because I did make an order online and it didn't get here on time so look out for that video but today we're just going to talk about these products and I think I'm going to start off with this lipstick because it is popping I love me a good red and you guys see how stunning this red is of course this is from Fenty Beauty it's part of the new lipstick collection that they recently came out with so it comes like this in like two separate uh, containers so you have the actual uh, bullet holder like the lipstick holder I've already put it in here and then the lipstick comes in here first of all the formula it's a 10 out of 10 for me. It feels so good on the lips. It's not dry at all. It actually has this like satiny, smooth feel to it on the lips. So I love it. And the color, it's gorgeous. I did see the nude color. There was a particular one that I really wanted to get, but it was sold, sold out. So I'm waiting uh, for it to come back in stock so I can go ahead and grab it at my local Sephora. But I got the shade, the MVP. I mean, if you're looking for a red, this is it right here. So this is the lipstick bullet holder. I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a close up. You twist that and this pops and this is where your lipstick is going to be, right there. Oh, this color is stunning. So once you're done with this lipstick, you're going to get another lipstick, pop it in here, and then you can put it back into the lipstick holder. And that's how it is. It's very cool. I really like the packaging. It's really, really beautiful. And the lip color is stunning. They have quite a few shades to select from. So if you like your nudes, 
or if you like your deeper, like they have this very deep chocolate brown that I saw, they have that too. So there are definitely a few options. The formula is beautiful. I really, really like this formula. So the other thing that I got from Fenty Beauty, of course, is another gloss bomb cream. I wore this one so much and I have maybe this much left of the one that I currently have. So I just got myself another one while I was in stores because I love the color. It is the color Fenty Glow. And I do love the gloss, but the cream just has a little bit more color payoff to it. So I love to wear this whether I'm using a lip liner or not. It is one of my favorite formulas and this color is beautiful. It's very universal. I find um, a ton of different skin tone can wear this shade. I'm gonna give you guys a quick swatch. It's this beautiful like pinky tone. It's just so wearable, look at that. It is so wearable with any makeup look or even like a no makeup makeup kind of day. It just looks so good. So I went ahead and just got myself another one. I definitely want to get the gloss again because sometimes I just want a little bit of a gloss instead of a full on color. And then I got these two products from Ilia. This brand is really intriguing to me. I love their whole minimalistic approach when it comes to makeup products and their complexion products seem very appealing because I love when my skin looks like skin but a little bit more perfected so I picked up their foundation this is the true skin serum foundation with niacinamide it's lightweight smoothing and those words definitely capture me so I'm really excited to try this foundation out I got the shade um, Bedara in 8.5 I hope it's my shade I honestly didn't even swatch it to be honest but just based off of like the tone that I'm seeing over here I feel like it's going to be a a good match. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and swatch it real quickly to share with you guys what I think. Ooh, this might be a little, a little warm. Actually, no, 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 no. The bottle seemed a bit deeper, but honestly, I think it's going to be a good match once I put it on. Ooh, that formula, it just melts. Oh my God, look at that. I just kind of blended it right over here and it seems like a perfect match to be honest with you guys. Like, look at that so smooth it looks so skin like to be honest like wow that looks like um, something that I would definitely like so I will keep you guys posted if you want to see like a dedicated review on this definitely let me know and follow me on Instagram because I tend to post a lot of like complexion products on Instagram so you will definitely see some sort of content with this one over here and then I also ended up picking up the multi stick shea butter orange peel wax avocado oil that's what's in there. And this is in Lady Bird. Love the packaging. It's so simple, but something about these like very minimalistic packaging, I enjoy so much. And um, this is the one that I got. I thought it would be such a gorgeous blush. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys right over here. I love cream products, okay? When it comes to makeup, give me all the cream products. I just think it looks so stunning on the skin skin and it's so easy to work with wow that's a beautiful color hopefully you guys will be able to pick that up but it's right there do you see that it's like this mauve -y tone but not too deep perfect like everyday kind of tone for a blush or even on the lips like to do like a more monochromatic look I think it would go really well so I'm excited to work with this again I've been obsessed with cream products especially blushes and like bronzers so excited to try that one out I'm gonna switch the tone a little bit and let's talk about fragrance let's talk about fragrance because I know so many of you guys are here for that I finally got myself a full-size bottle of Valentino Donna Born in Roma. I smelled this, now that I go back to my videos, I smelled this, I wanna say, two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, but I really don't remember what I thought of it. I really don't. So I went ahead and got a full size bottle. I don't know if I'm gonna love it. A lot of people said that I would. So let's go ahead and just try it out. So first of all, the box is very eye catching. It is this bright pink, which definitely gives me girly feminine vibes all the way. And then let's, oh, I almost dropped that. Let's take out the bottle right here 
here. I will say I like the bottle a lot. It's quite edgy, but it's giving me this uh, kind of uh, fashionista vibe. I like it. I think it's very, very pretty. It's different from other bottles that I have. So this definitely will catch your eye for sure. And I know this is supposed to be very on brand with Valentino's like stud that they have on a lot of their designer pieces. So this is very cool. And I love that this like is almost like a leather material that they have for the Valentino name. Now, Let's go ahead and smell this one. So I bought myself some tester strips to spray before I spray on the skin. Oh, that atomizer is really nice, actually. Ooh. Mmm. Okay, this is sweet. It's fruity floral. Slightly musky, I want to say, now that it's drying down. It's definitely that crowd-pleasing DNA, okay? If you love, I want to say if you love C from Giorgio Armani, if you love mm, Flower Bomb from Victor and Ralph, this is a fragrance that you will absolutely enjoy. It's in that family. Wow. Wow. Ultra feminine, 100%. This is ultra feminine. It's very wearable, honestly. It's very wearable. I don't know if on the skin it's gonna be different, but it is that like crowd pleasing DNA. Fruity floral, sweet, bright. It's quite citrusy to my nose in the opening. Like there's this sharpness to it. And I definitely am getting vanilla vibes and it almost slightly, slightly reminding me of Armani My Way, but I think that My Way is warmer. I'm picking up on more white floral tones in here. I don't know if there's jasmine. I actually didn't even look at the notes, but I am getting like jasmine. I like this. I like this. I think that it is so wearable. It's definitely that fragrance that you're not going to be mad at. You're not going to be hating it because it's quite crowd pleasing. It's that DNA that a lot of designer houses use on their fragrances because it's just appealing to so many people. So the dry down on the skin is less sweet, which I actually like. It's a little bit, it's becoming a little bit more refined, a little bit more refined. And I'm getting a little bit more of this musky tone in the dry down while I still pick up on the floral notes in here. And in terms of the fruity notes, I'm getting more like this berry type of vibe. It is still quite juicy. Mmm. Okay. Okay, I actually like the dry down a lot more. So this is a like for me. It's a high, high like. I d I'm not blown away. I don't think it's anything spectacular right now, but it's something that is actually putting a smile on my face as soon as I smell it and it's making me happy. It smells quite feminine. This is something that I would see myself wearing pretty much for brunch, dinner. It's kind of like an all occasion scent. Definitely all year round. Oh, I'm liking the dry down more. I'm intrigued. I will keep you guys posted. I'm going to wear this for a couple of days and then I'll probably do a full dedicated review because I know this is very popular and give you guys the tea on this fragrance. So the next scent that I ended up picking up is this delicious this right over here this deliciousness over here this is brazilian crush um shade rosa 71 it's caramelized vanilla and macadamia it's a body and hair mist and oh my goodness okay i love to work out in the evening so after i work out and i take my shower and i'm all fresh and clean i spray this on and it is just like mm, it's yummy it's decadent it's quite sweet Okay, it is quite sweet, but the nutty aspect of this fragrance kind of cuts down that very sweet, sweet element, and it is just 
delicious. I find this fragrance just so playful and delicious and I get why so many people love these types of scents. I definitely do. Now, is it a fragrance that I would wear for like a dinner date? Is it a fragrance that I would wear to an event or a special occasion? Not really. Honestly, I probably wouldn't. It's a little too playful and a little too sweet. I like something a little bit more slightly mature. I want to say a little bit more elegant. This doesn't give me elegance vibes. I'm going to be real with you guys, but if you love a sweet gourmand with that nutty vibe, this is a stunning scent. It's great for like an everyday in the house or even outside of the house for sure, but I wouldn't see myself wearing this for like a special equation where I'm trying to make maybe make like a memorable impression, I probably wouldn't see myself wearing this one. It's a little bit more casual. That's what I want to say, but I still love it. I think it's delicious. Like it is absolutely delicious. And I'm going to leave the last scent till the end. Okay. Now let's talk some hair care products. I have this uh, mask over here. This is a blue transy uh, reparative mask. It strengthens and repairs the hair, which I really, really need. My hair looks absolutely gorgeous and healthy, but honey, the split ends a little bit much. And I do have some damage right here in the middle of my hair where I wasn't careful when I was straightening my hair. I actually, my hair wasn't completely dry. It was a little bit damp and putting heat on damp hair, specifically trying to flat iron it is a big no-no. So I did acquire quite a bit of damage mainly here on the middle section of my hair. So I picked up this one. This is a black owned brand, which I'm so excited to be seeing more black owned brands at Sephora. I mean, there are so many incredible black owned brands that are not as accessible. So having them at Sephora is a lot more accessible, especially for us that are ordering online and whatnot. So I'm excited to try this one out. I believe I saw in store that they had a leave-in conditioner, they had a serum. So there were a few options towards this brand and I think it's pronounced ad adwa Ador, I'm, I'm maybe I'm butchering it, but I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a close up right there. So I definitely want to try this out and play around with it. I'll keep you guys posted. I actually didn't even open it or anything just to smell it, but it has this like white. Ooh, it's a thick consistency, and I love that. I love hair care products for my hair texture that are more thick because it tells me I don't need to use as much. When they're too runny, girl, I finish that so fast. But this consistency, do you guys see? It's, it's thick, it's not coming out, okay? This consistency is what I am looking for for my curls. Oh, I'm excited. I also ended up getting this one from Amika, which is a brand that I'm hearing a lot more about and I really wanna explore that brand. I've heard they had some amazing products for curly hair. This one is an intense bond repair mask. So I'm excited to try this one out. Also, it's a really great new formula that they came out with and I've seen some good reviews. Oh yes, another thick mask, look. Look at that consistency. It is not too runny, which is exactly what I like when it comes to my hair texture. Again, it just smells very clean and fresh. So I ended up getting two masks to try out on my hair. I love face masks and I love hair masks. That's something that I always try and splurge on because it definitely makes a difference. And honey, when you look good, you feel good. So I don't mind splurging a little bit on things that are just going to make me feel amazing. And also the process of pampering myself is amazing. So why not? So carrying on in the hair category, I ended up getting this way leave-in conditioner. This one was in collaboration with Byredo. It is the Mojave Ghost scent and I've actually been enjoying that fragrance a lot and I think it just has this very clean, fresh, musky scent that would be perfect 
for hair. Like if your hair smells like that, it just smells really clean and fresh. Like you literally just wash your hair. So I ended up getting the um, leave-in conditioner and the scent is definitely potent. I smelled it at Sephora and you can 100% get that smell. 100%. So love, love that. And um, I actually have not tried the leave-in conditioner in my hair just yet, but I'll let you guys know how it works out for my curls. I also ended up getting their curl cream. This is the fragrance free um, version. Love way hair care products. Okay. I've used them so much from like curly hair care products to styling hair care products. They really do their formulas amazing. And even their body care products is amazing. Like I love that way gives you products that are not only beautiful and aesthetically pleasing, but they actually do work. Like the formula is really amazing. Like this curl cream, if you have curls similar to mine, like if you've seen videos of me with my curly hair, this works so well on your hair. I've already used this. This is just another bottle that I picked up. It's very lightweight. It doesn't weigh down my curls, but it helps define them a little bit more and keep them intact throughout the day. So love this cream. And I just love that they give you a humongous tube of this. And honestly, a little goes a long way when it comes to this formula. I don't feel like I need to use a ton. So this lasts me a while. So I went ahead and got this one from Way. Let's talk skincare. Okay, so of course I had to go over to The Ordinary because I love love their skincare products. The fact that they are extremely affordable is the best part. The formula is amazing. The ingredient list is amazing. And these are the two products that I always pick up. Always, always, no matter what other skincare I'm using, this is always incorporated into my skincare routine. It's the hyaluronic acid and the niacinamide. So here's a closer look at them. These are under $10 and baby, when I tell you they work, they work. So um, hyaluronic acid is mainly for hydration, especially in the winter time, my skin gets very dry. I need hydration. So this helps me out a lot. I use it on its own or sometimes in combination with other serums and it works out really well. And then niacinamide is more for texture. So this really helps smooth out my skin. So I don't necessarily need to use it every day, even though you can, because the formula is so mild. I tend to use this pretty much like every other day. Sometimes I'll skip an entire week and then use it again. So these are incredible skincare products for just an amazing price point. Like you really cannot beat the price point over here. And then I ended up getting my um, elderberry and squalene jelly cleanser from Biosense. Love this cleanser to remove makeup. And it just does the job, honestly. It removes your makeup so well. Like as soon as you start to rub it in, your makeup starts to melt away and your skin is squeaky clean. So I had been trying out a few other cleansers cleansers that are great for like makeup removing well the claims that they are great for makeup removing and nothing came close to this so i ended up just getting this one sticking to skincare products because i got more skincare product and then the last one is going to be fragrance i picked up this mask from tatcha this is the violet c radiance mask this is not new to me it's just another bottle that i needed because i finished up my bottle i've used this time and time again and this is that mask that you will notice a difference as soon as you wash it off of your face. So I have to have it in my life. I use this a lot when I am going out, if I have an event, if I have a meeting, and I just want my skin to be popping all the way, this is a mask that you need in your life. Like as soon as you wash off this violet looking mask, your skin just looks like it's glowing from within. Like literally there is a beautiful visible brightness and glow to your skin. It's absolutely stunning. Definitely one of my most pricey masks when it comes to, you know, the category of masks. But I think that it's well worth it because it really does work. Like it's a very luxurious product. So it's such an experience. It feels amazing when you put it on the skin. The bottle, I mean, look at this stunning like you guys know that i love a good bottle and this one over here gets me every time it's absolutely stunning and the mask alone is beautiful like it's this beautiful look at that look at that tone 
it is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous but it works that's what i love about it it's pricey it looks beautiful from the packaging but the formula actually works and does what it's supposed to do so i've purchased this time and time again i think this is probably my like seventh bottle if i'm not mistaken and i want to say a little goes a long way so this can last you quite a bit i ended up getting from gucci this is flora gorgeous gardenia now this one over here i did try out when it first came out and for some reason i really don't remember what i thought of it maybe it was just not that memorable but i saw it in stores and i just like i thought the packaging was so adorable and i'm like you know what let's let's give it a try let's give it a try first of all the box is adorable you know this is going to be a floral bouquet in a bottle right now um you could just tell and to be honest i don't have a ton of gucci fragrances i maybe have one or two um not a lot of them appeal to me but this bottle is just gorgeous look at that it's so cute it is so cute and it caught my eye so at the back it says bouquet white gardenia pear blossom and then we have jasmine this is definitely a floral bouquet okay so i'm gonna go ahead and try that out i'm gonna do it on a tester strip and i didn't try this in store when i got it uh recently so let's see Ooh. oh that's beautiful it's like fresh but creamy this is giving me spring vibes literally i close my eyes and i think i'm walking into like a garden of flowers oh wow that is beautiful oh my god it is absolutely stunning it's floral vibes and there's not too much sweetness in this fragrance the fruit the sweet tone that i'm getting is definitely from the floral tones it is just a beautiful concoction of different floral notes and it just smells gorgeous it's slightly creamy too oh wow very feminine very light um it's quite beautiful and almost gentle i want to say i really like this it's sort of it's sort of in the realm of like i want to say dolce and gabbana the only one intense kind of going in that realm oh oh yeah oh this is this is definitely something oh the atomizer is pretty too this is definitely something that i see myself wearing especially for springtime you're going out to brunch this is very elegant also it smells like a woman it just smells like a woman very put together she's really just down to earth she smiles a lot it's bright it's fresh it's creamy it's florals slightly spicy also slightly citrusy mm, wow okay i am so glad that i picked this up it it smells really pretty like it's it's pretty it's a pretty fragrance oh oh yeah like just a quick comparison between these two over here i want to say that uh, of course donna born in roma is more of a fruity floral fragrance for sure this is all the way floral but it's just done in this most beautiful creamy way oh i like this one a lot i like this one a lot i think this is a little bit more unique than this scent profile over here i'm not gonna lie i think this one stands out to me a little bit more and i i totally see myself grabbing this a lot more totally they're both very beautiful but to me gucci wins gucci wins we are all done with this haul i know it was long i know it was long so if you made it to the end thank you so much <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always everything will be linked down below again a huge thank you to sephora for sponsoring this video don't forget to check out the links down in the description box if you want to shop any of the products and sign up for the beauty insider program you really don't want to miss that out and uh yeah thank you so much for watching can't wait to chat with you guys in the comment section and i'll see you all in the next video ciao